Yo, today's gonna be a great day. Got my first mod for the car, for my N54. And you guys can guess by the title, I got me some dual cone intakes, and they're gonna be the color red. That's fucking lit. Let's go. Yup, so here we have them. I already opened it, but we're gonna get it going on the N54. Let's go. First things first, um, we just wanna get, out, get rid of the cabin filter and this bad boy right here just to give us more freedom so we can put in the, the new intake. So for this little air thingy, we're gonna need two um, T15s for screws, two screws to take off. And then for the cabin filter, we got um, an eight millimeter socket because we got six um, bolts to remove. So yeah. To remove this we're gonna want to kind of unhook it from here as you can see i wasn't careful before and it just broke on me at this side too just be careful with it so we're gonna put our finger through and pop it back then push this back and it should just lift right off okay cam filter um eight millimeter socket six bolts this is one Okay, so these these bolts take off. They're above eight millimeter, so yeah, I'll be doing that. And then the this cabin filter thingy can come off easy. Well, actually, we're gonna have to remove that part. I'll show you how to do that in a minute. Okay, next up to remove this um, shield. Um, we're gonna want to just pull this straight out uh, Be careful though because I kind of broke mine and I just have these two that are working so we're just gonna Pull and it should come up like that Then we're gonna want to take um, a fly head and just kind of like put it in and then yeah, just like that. Oh shit I missed All right, so I got the, the cabin filter shield off. Um, so honestly, you don't need to remove it, but just make thing, your job like removing the air filter like a lot easier. So yeah, but it's just like five minutes, you know, it's not really, it's worth it in my opinion to just remove it, get it out the way. It takes five minutes to put on, like five minutes to put back. But now for the um, filter, we're gonna remove this clip, this clip, this clip, this clip, and this clip, and the hose right here, simple. Just pinch on both sides and pull up like that. And now we remove the filter. Actually, I can just show you. Remove that. Flip to the side. Remove the filter. Dirty boy. Flip to the side. Now, so now. We just gotta remove this thing. I loosen. Yeah, I'm just make sure to loosen this up. And then we're just gonna wanna. Okay, so this is kind of away from me. So I'm just gonna um, push, squeeze, um, turn it to the left here, and just remove it real quick. I'll put it back though. Just so that my hand can fit. Look, my knuckles are kind of getting red. Okay, so I get to the just going up. Okay, More space to work with. Push this out. That's so, okay, that's one. Now this bad boy, it's loosened already. Should we move this? Oh, fuck it, let's go ahead. Okay, so now we try to get this out. Why is it so tight? I don't remember it fitting this tight. Anyways, back to this. Pull on it. Okay, so now we're gonna pull on this filter straight up and it should come up. Make sure both are off. Let's go. Okay, it's gonna say easy pull. Make sure the, the vacuum hose is out the way and the two um, intakes are off. The tubing. 
Okay, so now we're just gonna pull straight up. Do a little wiggle. So, it's, it's kind of hard to be honest, but it'll come off. That one came off. Just. Hey, bitch, you wanna come off or not? Okay, the other one's off. Kind of hurt my finger. Guys, there are cones. One cone, two cones, got our clamps, and our tubing is here. There's one, and here's the other. So let's get these on first so we can get the cones on. Alright, guys, we got our uh, aluminum tube, so we just put it in, and then we're gonna want to tighten it with the flathead. And same for the back, so I'm gonna put on both and tighten them up. All right, guys, um, I got the tubes in. Uh, make sure it's um, they're like st stiff in there and they like don't wiggle around and stuff, you know. So now it's time to get the filters in. And keep in mind, you might, um, since this isn't like a perfect fit, you know, just kind of like empty space, you might have to um, like loosen it up and then mess around with it just to like get a perfect fit, you know but I think this should be fine. As long as you push them in all the way and you tighten them pretty good, then we should be good. If anything, I suggest you guys put in the back ones first, just so it can be easier for um, to work with like afterwards, because you put in the front one first, then you're kind of like, you're gonna get, minimize your space here to work on the back, and the back is clearly farther away and it'll be harder for you to put in. So let's just start with the black, uh, the, the back one. And you see, if we didn't remove the cabin filter, it was going to be here and just like give us kind of bugging. You know, these wires are already kind of bugging. So, I'm just going to back in real quick. Oh my god, that's a lot easier. Okay, okay. So, I don't know where this will be. Uh, Alright, before I tighten that one up, I'm going to see if I can get the front one to fit with it. Um, I'm not sure though, it doesn't look like it fit to be real with you guys. So let's try to get this one. Okay, let's get this. Okay, okay, actually this one looks pretty good. Um, I don't know. I think you just need to work with this one a little bit. Give it a little more wiggle room or something. All right guys, um, just finished tightening it up. So I just give it like a cool um, pull and snug, see if it's like good, if it's not gonna come off. And make sure if you took off any of the hoses, vacuum hoses, make sure to put them back and twist them, clip them on, give them a pull, test them out if they're secured. So yeah, so now I'll be putting in the, this air thing where the air travels to the intake, to the filters, and I'll be putting the, back the cabin filter, so yeah. Alright guys, this is how it looks. It's all done. So I'm now I'm gonna turn the car and see how it sounds. Looks pretty good. Pretty clean, my guy. Plus it matches with the with the burgundy iron a little bit, a little bit. Honestly, I don't know. It doesn't sound much different, but maybe because it's not like a fully cold start because I had turned it on like maybe like an hour and a half ago. But honestly, I'm happy. And I think there is a difference. I just can't hear it right now. But yeah, totally. Um, yeah. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, if you have any questions about the the, oh, the tools I used real quick, um, it was a T15 to remove that um, filter, the one that takes air from the front of the car to the filters. 
215 and then an eight millimeter socket for the cabin filter to remove it. And then a flat, a flat driver, have flat head, however you want to call it, to um, tighten and loosen the clamps on the filter. And then of course, some, some little muscles, you know, to take off the stock filter where you can find the, the filters. I got them on Amazon um, for like 110 bucks, pretty cheap. And they claim to put like 15 um, wheel horsepower. So yeah, that's it for this video. Um, this video was mostly just for me. Um, you know what I'm saying? Just for me to keep a record, but I'll be posting it just to keep it for like anyone who's like me that's just starting up and, you know, and has this dream, uh, like what to do on a car, you know what I'm saying? This is definitely a must, it's easy. Um, honestly, it would take me like an hour if I wasn't recording. I'll see you on the next video.